I was following the instructions of what I was told to do by the caller. It wasn't anything that I wanted to do intentionally. I'm not a criminal. And I have such guilt, such unprofound guilt about what happened. It has actually destroyed my life. It has absolutely destroyed it. You've got a hoax caller who's calling, asking them to do criminal things, and they oblige. I'll never know why you felt like you needed to be compelled to do something like that to another human being. Uh, just because somebody told you to do it on the phone as long as I live. A lot of people that I talked to said, well, hell, I wouldn't do that. Why not just hang up the phone? Well, I was like everyone. I was astonished when I first read about the hoax case, and I probably had the reaction that most people have, which is, how could anybody do that? But then I remembered that that's the same reaction people have when they look at the Milgram study. Let me out of here. You have no right to keep me here. Let me out. Let me out of here. Let me out. Continue, please. Let me out of here. My eyes bother me. Let Go me on. out. Let me out. Stanley Milgram was interested in the question of why so many people go along with authority figures, even when those authority figures are giving instructions to do something terribly wrong. Milgram created an artificial situation in a laboratory working on these obedience studies. There were three characters involved. One person was the experimenter who ran the study. One person was the real participant. And the third person was an actor who was pretending to be a participant. The teacher was instructed to give a simple memory test. If the learner got the wrong answer, then he was supposed to get an electric shock and the teacher's job was to, to deliver the electric shock. Of course, real shocks were not being delivered, and it was set up so that the person pretending to be a participant was always going to be the learner. The learner did give a lot of wrong answers on purpose, so that the teacher was required to give stronger and stronger electric shocks. Wrong. 225 volts. The word is noise. 65% of Milgram's participants continued to deliver what they thought was extremely painful and perhaps even lethal doses of electric shock. These people were agonizing every time they had to press a shock lever. Yet, despite those internal resistances that they were experiencing, the situation was so powerful they found themselves nonetheless pressing the levers. Well, who was actually pushing the switch? I was. But why didn't you just stop? He wouldn't let me. I wanted to stop. What's most intriguing about that is that what that tells all of us is that under the right circumstances, 